Hello, this is Wes Hickey, Dean of the College of Education and Psychology at the University of Texas at Tyler. And in this weekly five, I want to talk about the coaching shortage. So coaches play a very important part in our schools. Uh, they see students when oftentimes they are incredibly tired, emotionally raw. They see them in a lot of situations in which uh, teachers oftentimes don't often get the uh, opportunity to be able to work with them in those type of situations. And so coaches, uh, in having the impact they have, really can teach kids how to handle things when they're tough because uh, almost any time you have a practice or a game there's tough situations and how do you handle that adversity is going to be an important part remember a coach that i had early on used to talk about the idea that it's okay to be knocked down but it's not okay to stay down and that was a, a, a big part in i guess the development of me when i came through there uh, they learn how to compete well and that also means compete fairly uh, you want to work as hard as you can to play within the rules and if somebody else is playing within the rules, that's fine, but you want to work to do whatever you can to be a little bit ahead of them. And if they're ahead of you, handle it well is going to be the important part. And they be persistent. When things are tough, you want to make sure that you can still get going. And one of the things that oftentimes separates people that are incredibly successful from those that are kind of mediocre is their ability to handle times when they're tough and be persistent and keep moving on toward that goal. And so uh, coaches play a very important role. But right now, in the state of Texas, we have a shortage of coaches. And there's a lot of different reasons for that shortage. Uh, and the particular article that I looked at mentioned three in particular. One is that the economy is pretty good right now. And so a lot of individuals are looking around to see what else they can do and are moving out of that. And then the second reason kind of falls along with that is that if you can go someplace and make more money, that's going to be uh, something you want to consider. Coaching is a great thing to do, but one of the areas in which coaches oftentimes struggle is at the time that it takes to be an effective coach. Uh, you're spending a lot of time after school. You're spending a lot of time going to games. You have to be passionate about what you're doing or it's tough to want to be there. And that's one of the things that also makes it tough when, when teachers come out and are part of alternative certification programs. Because in alternative certification programs, you're trying to get certified while teaching. And so if you're spending those extra hours, you don't have a lot of time to actually spend working on getting certified. So if you come out and you're not certified, it's very difficult to make that happen. Uh, and there's also the disadvantage of you haven't usually spent the time with students to know how to handle them properly um, as you get out of, as you start programs, if, you, if you're going through an alternative certification program, at least according to this article. So Texas High School Coaches Association is trying to make that better. And one of the ways they're doing that is through providing mentoring to try to have beginning coaches have someone they can look to to try to understand how things need to work, how to handle students in a lot of ways, how to handle the time management issues and all those type of areas are very important. And I remember as I started coaching back in 1992 is that having an individual, and he's now a college coach at Arkansas, having him provide advice over time and being a mentor helped me out during that process. And here at UT Tyler, let us know what we can do. And remember to inspire and educate, be an architect of human potential.